The Las Vegas Raiders have met with quarterback Anthony Richardson. There are reports out there that the Raiders had dinner with Anthony Richardson, and I'm excited to talk about this because it's one thing to meet a guy at the pro day. It's one thing to meet a guy at the draft combine. It's completely different when you're having dinner with this guy because when you have dinner with the prospect, it means you're actually interested in picking that guy up. And for the Raiders to have dinner with Anthony Richardson, it means they're actually interested in taking him with pick seven. Some people have also speculated the Raiders could potentially trade up to get Anthony Richardson. And if that's the case, I absolutely love it for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, if you think dinner is not a big deal, if you think that's a small thing, uh, consider this. The Raiders also have Anthony Richardson scheduled for a top 30 visit. A thing that is limited right to me that's massive for the las vegas raiders uh, the raiders are clearly interested in anthony richardson and if he's on the board i have no doubt in my mind the raiders are going to draft him if anthony richardson is on the board with pick seven i think the raiders are going to get their future quarterback and i'd be fired up for it because to me anthony richardson is a very 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 good prospect uh, to me he is that lamar jackson with the body type of cam newton and I say Lamar Jackson because that is how fast and quick and explosive this guy is. Like he is one of the quickest quarterbacks we've ever seen. Like he has that Lamar Jackson quickness. And what's crazy is some people say, well, he's kind of like Jamarcus Russell. He's you know developmental, and that's not that's not true with Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson's tape is much better than what Jamarcus Russell had back in the days, right? Anthony Richardson is a much better prospect than quarterbacks we've seen in the past and in my opinion if this guy could be brought into the Raiders we should pull that trigger uh yeah we have Jimmy Garoppolo under contract but you can get out of it at the end of this year and yeah you'll incur dead cap but you can always restructure and push dead cap in a two years potentially if you cut him at the end of this year plus having him on the roster will benefit a quarterback like Richardson you don't have to put him in right away, right? You can let him sit. You can let him develop for a couple of games, uh, maybe a season, and then over time he takes over. Um, either way, the Raiders are bringing him in, and I'm fired up about it because to me, this is exactly what the Raiders need. They need to get a, 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 a difference maker at the quarterback position. You know, you look at a quarterback like uh, Joe Burrow, and you look at all the success he's had so far in his career, and you can say it's probably because of the weapons that the Bengals have on the offensive side. Yeah, they have a pretty good defense as well, but their defense isn't top 10, right? And their defense is nowhere near the offense. And the offense is as explosive, partly because of Burrow, but primarily, in my opinion, because of those weapons. Guess what? The Raiders got weapons as well. So for me, Richardson coming in with our weapons is the perfect fit for him. Uh, in some other news, Yesterday, we, we heard something very interesting with um, Jalen Carter here, the defensive tackle, who apparently the Raiders had already knocked off the board. Uh, if you guys remember, the, yesterday I made a video talking about a statement that was put out there by Vic Tafer, or I should say a report by Vic Tafer, who, co who works for The Athletic. Uh, he put a report out there saying the Raiders have crossed off Jalen Carter off their board. Uh, at this point, the Raiders are no longer interested in Jalen Carter because of the entire situation that he's kind of going through. And I said that I think it's ridiculous that the Raiders would do this, one, this early, two, with this type of generational prospect, right? And what's crazy is we've heard now from Josh McDaniels, who came out and directly stated that that report is false. Uh, in fact, he told Vincent Bonsignor, who works for the Las Vegas Review Journal, uh, Vincent is also the guy that um, the Raiders directly contact when they need to get information out there. Uh, Vincent said he just spoke to Josh McDaniels, and McDaniels reiterated what he told reporters about Jalen Carter on Monday, contrary to a recent report. He's talking about Vic Tafer's report. The Raiders are doing their due diligence on Carter, who remains on their draft board. Carter will meet with the Raiders as one of their uh, top 30 visits in April. Um, so keep that in mind, right? Jalen Carter will come in and the Raiders will meet with him. The same way they're meeting with Anthony Richardson, which means the guy's not off the draft board either, right? Uh, so I did want to just kind of make that update and throw it in here based off the report that we, you know, kind of reported yesterday. Jalen Carter is still on the board and that is the right way forward. If Jalen Carter is off the board, 
you don't state that, right? Like, why, why would you state that he is off the board? Like, it doesn't make sense because there are teams out there. Like, for example, the Falcons. The Falcons can easily jump the Raiders and say, hey, the Raiders are going to take Jalen Carter and we really want Carter. And they can say, hey, we'll swap picks with the Lions who have pick six right before the Raiders. We'll swap our first pick. So Lions get the eighth pick. We get the sixth pick. And for the Lions to just jump back two picks, we'll throw in a, a second round pick from next year right because Jalen Carter is a generational prospect Jalen Carter is in that Nick Boza Miles Garrett class right he isn't Cleveland Farrell he isn't um you know he isn't Josh Allen or Montez so he isn't one of these guys that has to develop the guy has already developed the guy is already going to be one of the best defensive players in the NFL day one like that is Jalen Carter and to me if the Raiders say they are out doesn't make a whole lot of sense right uh, they want to stay in, uh, obviously, because then a teammate jumped in, which could also mean a quarterback could fall to the Raiders. So, either way, kind of interesting. Uh, in some other news, Vic Tafer put this out just a couple days ago, talking about Josh Jacobs. Uh, he put it out there saying the Raiders and Josh Jacobs have not started meaningful negotiations on a long-term deal since the franchise tag was applied, but Jacobs has a big fan in the team owner when they do. I want to talk about this. Um... So the Raiders actually signed Josh Jacobs to a long-term contract. I don't know. I, I really don't know if, if it's a smart thing to sign Josh Jacobs. Now, I love Josh Jacobs. I think he's a great player. He's a leader that you can get behind and all that stuff. But unfortunately for Josh, he's also a running back. And running backs don't last that long. Josh has already played four years in the league. How much longer can he play? Would he sign a three-year contract, right? Assuming the franchise tag doesn't apply, would he sign for year five, six, and seven? Because I'd be open to that, right? I would give him, you know, three years, $45 million, but we've already applied the franchise tag, so he's already under contract. So if we added three more years at the end of that, we're pushing for his year eight, right? And to me, he's not going to be the same running back in year eight. And I know people love Josh and they don't want to hear it, but running backs just don't last. It's It's been proven over and over and over again running backs don't last uh, there, it's not the same thing as paying a receiver it's not the same thing as paying an offensive lineman or a, a quarterback running back is just a much different position so to me i think the raiders should be very 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 hesitant with signing jacobs to a long-term contract again doesn't make a lot of sense also, they haven't even started negotiations. So maybe they already look at it like, hey, we're going to let Josh walk at the end of this year. Um, and there's a chance that the Raiders plan to draft the running back in this class. You know, last year we took Zamir White. I don't think Zamir White is that good of a running back just based off his tape. Um, even from college, right, he wasn't even the best running back on his team. Um, his his uh, The other running back went in the second round to the Bills. Uh but here's the thing with Zamir White. He fits the scheme a little bit better for the Raiders. Now, can he have success still? Absolutely. But there's a lot of running backs in this year's class. Guys that are going to go in the third, fourth round that are legit running backs. Uh, people are saying there are there's at least 10 running backs in this class that are going to end up being very good running backs in the NFL. And if that happens, right, if the Raiders take a running back, I could see one coming in the second or third round. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Finally, Bucky Brooks did a mock draft and uh, he did a mock draft where he um, had the Raiders taking a prospect that I think a lot of us would be very interested in actually getting. Uh, you can see he has CJ Stroud going one, Bryce Young going two, he has Will Anderson going three, he has Tyree Wilson going four to the Colts, which is crazy to think, and then he has Jalen Carter going five. He has Devin Witherspoon going six, and then seven, he has the Raiders taking Christian Gonzalez. So again, that's very, 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 very interesting. Um, if you guys think about it, only two quarterbacks are off the board. So the Raiders would technically have the option to draft Anthony Richardson or Will Levis with pick seven, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but Bucky Brooks said in my last mock draft, I had the Raiders select quarterback Will Levis here. But that was before they signed Jimmy Garoppolo, whose presence as a veteran signal caller enables Las Vegas to focus on taking the best player available to upgrade the defense. Gonzalez is a big athletic cover corner who would fit well into defensive corner Patrick Graham's plans as a lockdown defender with ball skills. 
Uh, that's very interesting. You know, to me, if uh, Anthony Richardson is there, uh, we talked about it in the beginning of this video, I'm, I would absolutely take him. Uh, Will Levis, if he's there, I would consider it. Although I'm not the biggest Will Levis fan, you guys kind of know that. I, I do like him, but I'm not the biggest fan, right? Um, but if the Raiders did go with the cornerback, Christian Gonzalez is the guy that I would want. Um, to me, the Raiders don't have major needs at the edge position, right? To me, what the Raiders really need is they need an interior defensive tackle. They need corners. That's it. That's all we really, really, really need on the defensive side because Max and Chandler are locked in for at least the next two years. Uh, to me, if you get an interior guy that can pass rush, that changes the defense. If you get a cornerback, that's a true shutdown cornerback. That changes the defense. Obviously, getting a quarterback could alter the rest of our franchise for the next 20 years. But we'll put that to the side, right? To me, I think Christian Gonzalez would be a really, really, really solid fit. He's a cover corner, right? He's a man-to-man -man corner. And I think for the Raiders, those are the type of players you need. You need guys that are going to fit the scheme. But more than that, if Patrick Graham is gone at the end of this year, you need guys that will go past Patrick Graham. Right? We talked about Trayvon Merrigan, how he was kind of drafted for the Gus Bradley scheme, and he hasn't had success past that. Obviously, we'll see if he has success this year, but we need guys that can run multiple schemes, and I think Christian Gonzalez is that. Uh, he's a man cover, specifically, but if you sit him in zone, he can do a lot of really good things. Uh, there's a play against Oregon State that uh, really sticks out to me. Uh, quarterback play actions, bootlegs to the left, uh, and you see, you see Gonzalez roll to the left he turns his head to look at the receiver so his back is to the quarterback he quickly turns back and looks at the quarterback the quarterback tries throwing it to a whole different guy and this guy just jumps up and snatches the ball out of the air to me this guy's a smart football player and i would love for the raiders to get a cornerback specifically christian gonzalez i hope you guys enjoyed this video man let me know what you guys think in the comments below thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys next time with another video